the day? Hard, feels sick. How's the legs? The legs are not too bad, the knees are a bit sore. I'm physically feeling sick, just inversion and heat. How's the terrain? Butter. Rough as a badger's Butter. backside. It's a bit like that, if you could picture that, for a couple of hours, <laughs> like that. If you could picture how my stomach feels. Apart from that, everything's good. Apart from that, I'm feeling great. I need you, tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you are. I had to find you. Tell you I need you. Tell you I set you apart. Day four. Uh, I'm starting to feel a bit fatigued. Legs are very much worn. It's a hard day yesterday. Probably too sh pushed too hard yesterday. So I'm feeling it today. Feeling very lethargic. Also, my water intake's gone down. Uh, so I really have to kind of address that. That'll probably perk me up as well. It's going to be a hot one. Uh, the terrain is kind of rolling hills and the track is very sandy, so it's really tough going. It's very rutted as well. I think the, the group as a whole is starting to fatigue and starting to slow. The 10k breaks we're having kind of brings everybody together. But um, to the guys at the back, as a group, we're slowing. The daily mileage is, is just kind of struggle all the time. I think today, like yesterday, we're very fatigued by the time we get to the end of it. Knackered, in other words. But I guess we knew that was in the post. Tell you I need you Tell you I set you apart Tell me your secrets And ask me your questions Oh, let's go back to the start Running so Look at his eyes, I hate pedal bikes Hey, Tony, you're on. Oh, you're right, I'm all right, okay. Yeah, the, the cycle ride from um, Ulaanbaatar to uh, De Lanzigad, what an absolutely amazing experience. When I heard about it last year from Dave Scott, I hadn't really got a clue what it was about, to be honest. And uh, even when I got off the plane in uh, Ulaanbaatar, I still didn't really have much of a clue what it was about. But the reality is bloody harsh. It was an amazing uh, cycle ride, 600 kilometres, all in all, over six and a half days, um, with an amazing bunch of people at a pace that I was just barely able to hang on to. Um, but as an event, absolutely tremendous. Um, you, you need to dig in. Uh, I don't think any, just anybody could turn up and do it, to be honest. You need to have that sort of um, ultra-runner type mindset where, although it is hard, you know, you're just not going to end it and, and give up. Um, to get to the end was, was absolutely amazing. It, it was a case of um, all things were just about holding together and only just. On the, on the last day, um, Neil the mechanic had said to me that my chain was going to snap and I was getting really resentful along the route on the last day that the bloody thing hadn't snapped because I was so desperate to have a rest. <laughs> and it didn't snap. And, and then to make things worse, um, Dave asked me to... Um, go to the front of the queue to take people into De Lanzigad, which meant that I had to pedal faster because I'd been hanging on at the back doing my own thing. Uh, and, and that, right at the end, when you're just thinking you're just going to cruise through to the finish, I had to put in a final burst. But it was nice to do. It was, it was good to lead such a fine body of people into that wonderful metropolis known as De Lanzigad. Full stop. Your questions Oh, let's go back to the start Running in circles Coming in tails Heads on the sides apart Nobody said it was easy It's such a shame for us to part It's been a 
better day. This is day three. We've got five miles to go of a 35 mile run. We are second in the pack. Donnie's been pushing on like a soldier. I've been tucked in behind him because it's a headwind. Uh, that's all I can really say just now. Speak to you at the end of the stage. Bye. In off a 37k stage. It's still only about 8 9 in the morning, but it's going to be hot today. But the devastating news is that Robert's pulled out. Uh, he was vomiting again last night, and he just he was ill this morning. He started, but he never made it to the first 10k checkpoint, and he had to bin it. <sighs> Same devastated, it's not enough. Worked so hard for that 18 months training. He's the one that's been pushing me, and he's had to pull the plug. Got it. For us to part. Nobody said it was easy. No one ever said it would be this hard. Oh, take. Back to the start. Just blew out to a key. I'm still going, but just I'm stopping every bit to stretch one. Just feel the difference. K to do, about 5k in, got four in front of me, just try to chill out a bit, don't want to blow out straight away. Something strange happened back there, I actually enjoyed it for about two minutes. I guess these people who do this all the time, they must feel that more often. Mine only lasted two minutes, now it's packed to bloody hurting. <laughs> <laughs> 